Good day and welcome to our midweek devotional time. Well, today I want to ask you a question and I wish I could hear your answers, but I know some of you well enough to know how you will answer this. It's this, are you a busy type of person? Are you always um, frittering around your house, you know, trying to get stuff done and have a long to-do list? Or maybe uh, you're not the type of person to make a to-do list, you just are like myself and uh, go here, there and everywhere and uh, get stuff accomplished but never really feel like you've accomplished what you needed to accomplish? <laughs> well, today after much urging from Jeff, I made a to-do list and let me say it is quite long. Um, I joked with him and said there isn't enough paper for my to-do list. <laughs> But anyway, I wrote down some things that I want to accomplish today. And in doing so, um, I was reminded of how sometimes when we are so busy that we neglect to spend time with God, that He sort of gets pushed away and becomes less of our priority. Um, and there's a, a, a devotion again in uh, Jesus Calling, where Sarah Young says, uh, these are, are Jesus' thoughts to us, and I just want to share them with you today and see if uh, it touches your heart as it has mine. It says, come away with me for a while. The world with its non-stop demands can be put on hold. Do you realize that we can do that? Sometimes we get frantic, don't we? And we think, well, we can't not do this. But it can be put on hold. Most people put me on hold, rationalizing that someday they will find time to focus on me. I've been guilty of this so many times in my life. But the longer people push me into the background of their lives, the harder it is for them to find me. You live among people who glorify busyness. They have made time a tyrant that controls their lives. Even those who know me as Savior tend to march to the tempo of the world. They have bought into the illusion that more is always better. More meetings, more programs, more activities. I have called you to follow me on a solitary path, making time alone for me your highest priority and your deepest joy. It is a pathway largely unappreciated and often despised. However, you have chosen the better thing, which will never be taken away from you. Moreover, as you walk close to me, I can bless others through you. May that be our prayer today, that we choose to make our time with God the priority in our lives each and every day. And as we do, he will bless others through us. Do you remember this story of Mary and Martha? I know you do. <laughs> Look at Luke chapter 10. Uh, verses 41 and 42 and listen to Jesus words Martha Martha you are worried and upset about many things but only one thing is needed Mary has chosen what is better and it will not be taken away from her may we choose that which is better as well let us pray. Lord God, as we bow before you today, as we remember our need to make you the priority in our lives, help us, Father, to be obedient. Help us, Lord, to take time with you each and every day as our first priority. And as we do, God, we know we are so blessed and you will use us to bless others as well. Help us to not let the, the worries, the fears, the stress of everyday life 
the busyness of everything that crowds in upon us, all the things that we think we need to do to replace the time we need to spend with you. Hear our prayer, we pray in your name. Amen. Thank you for watching today. May God bless you as you spend time with him in his word and in prayer and just commune with him throughout this week. Take care and I'll see you Sunday. Bye-bye.